I'm Steve for This Oak With Cars and today I'm back with the 1928 Ford Model A. Previously I got the car running and fixed the wiring issues with the dashboard. But the car is only running off the gas bottle so today I'd like to get the car running off of its own fuel tank. So let's get started. The fuel is coming into the firewall through here. Right here is the line that runs into the bottle that the car is running off of right now. So I need to start taking all of this apart. It's all gummed up with old fuel. And start taking the fuel line out inside the car as well. Runs along here and then up into the fuel tank. I'll need to undo all of these fittings, get that valve out, see if any of it can be cleaned. And if not, I'll have to order new parts to replace all these things. And that doesn't even count dealing with the fuel tank, which is built into the cowl of the car. I'm gonna start by trying to get this line loose. I'm surprised it turns so easily. I'm going to cut my hand around one side, blow through it, see if any air comes out of this side. Seems pretty clogged to me. So I'll put this in the solvent tank, see if it loosens that material up at all. I was able to get this off with a one and one eighth inch socket. See if I can get my socket back. Looks like this can come apart. I don't know if there's a rebuild kit for these, but if not, I'll just have to order a new one. Looks like the valve is freed up now starting to get wet on the end now. So a little bit of fluid is starting to leak through. I'll put this little oil pan down. I hope this is enough or whatever might come out. Here it comes. As you can imagine, this smells terrible. I think I have all of it drained out now. It's actually a good sign. It came out really quickly from the gas tank. So I'm hoping all of our problems were with the lines and the fuel tank is okay to use. I ordered a few new parts. It's pretty neat that Ford is still licensing parts to be made for a car that's almost 100 years old. I got a new fuel shutoff valve and also a repair kit for the sediment bulb. And I also ordered this little strainer that's going to go into the fuel shutoff. And this will go up into the gas tank just like this and filter out anything before it even gets into the rest of the fuel system. There's also another one of these inside the carburetor and of course we'll have the sediment bowl as well. So things should be filtered pretty well before it gets to the engine. Here's the new valve compared to the old one. You can see the design is a little bit different. I cleaned this one up. It's even been run through the ultrasonic cleaner and this valve was free and turning when it came out of the ultrasonic cleaner but then it seized up again. So since you have to use this pretty much every time you drive the car or in case there's an emergency, I thought it'd be better to replace it with a new one. That way it's easy to use, it turns easily, and we know we're not gonna have any gas leaks. The strainer is stuck nicely on the top of the valve there. Now I can stick it up into the fuel tank. I 
I want this lined up this direction. I did get a new fuel pipe for here as well. I thought since I'm replacing the valve, why not put a new pipe on here? I'll come back and tighten this once I have the rest of the pieces installed. Now I need to take apart the old sediment bowl so I can install the rebuild kit. Let's find out what that consists of. Rebuild kit comes with a spring, a strainer, and then there's a little seal in here with the instructions. So I need to get this apart now. This is where our seal is going to go. Old one is in pretty poor shape. There we go. Here's our old strainer. That is stuck in there. Pretty good. So that is the original end of the strainer there. You can see what a difference that is. The inside of this needs cleaned out. So I'm going to clean it out as good as I can with a screwdriver and then put it back in the ultrasonic cleaner to make sure all this crud is gone from the inside. I media blasted the sediment bowl and then put it through the ultrasonic cleaner. It's nice and clean now, so I can put in the new screen. Then here on the top, we have a new spring for that and our new seal here on the top. Should be ready to go back in the car now. Everything is installed up to this point, so now I can move my fuel feed to the carburetor back from the little bottle to run off of our actual fuel tank. Now I'll grab some fuel and we'll see if this leaks. Let's start it up and see if it runs. It's looking good. No leaks out here or inside. I can finally see how it drives. That's going to be it for today. I don't have to push the car around anymore, so I'm really happy about that. 
Next time, maybe I'll rebuild the carburetor or we'll take a look at the water pump. I think there might be an issue there. If you have any suggestions on something you'd like to see me do with this car, comment in the comments below. And of course, if you want to see more videos like this, comment below and click subscribe.